Hi, my name is William Zhou. In this video, I'm going to demo the upgrade and the Dell ECS configuration for VMware Cloud Director Object Storage Extension product version 1.5. Part 1 Upgrade from version 1.0.1. Let's have a look at the Object Storage Portal on VCD UI. Here we have already created buckets and objects with Cloudian Hyperstore Object Story platform. We can preview an image on the portal. Then we switch to the provider portal. We can see the tenant list. Acme is the tenant we use for demo. On the OC backend, we run the command line to check the current version of OC. Before the upgrade, we firstly stop the service. Then, we run the RPM command to uninstall the OC package. On VMware documentation side, we can find the installation guide for OC. As the first step, we need to prepare the schema change for Postgres. Going back to the terminal, we switch to the Postgres server and log in as SU. Then we connect to the instance that the OC is using. Then we run two SQL statements as instructed by the installation guide. This is to remove the constraint on the bucket info table. Then we go back to the OC middleware server and install the 1.5 new binary RPM package. We still run the old command voc underscore ci. We can see the command now has been changed to OCE. We run OC-V to check its version and show its current configuration. Now we switch back to the portal again. On the provider side, we can see the UR has changed. Specific for the tenant Acme, we can see which story group it has been mapped to. Now, let's also check the tenant portal side. We refresh the page. Then, we navigate to the object storage UI plugin and go to the buckets list. We can see the old bucket and object still exists. We are still able to preview the old image. And we can also upload a new object to the bucket. Therefore, the upgrade has succeeded. In the second part, we will show how to configure Dell ECS and enable it as a platform of OSC. We switch back to OSC server machine and input OSC ECS-H to view what commands we can use. Firstly, we set the S3 endpoints and accept a certificate for the SSL. Secondly, we configure the admin endpoint for ECS and accept the SSL certificate. The last step is to configure ECS console endpoint. And we run the command show to show the current configuration of OC middleware. Current OC instance is connecting to Cloudian. Now we switch to ECS. The final step is to restart OSC service. Now we go back to provider portal again. Tenant Acme is disabled as we have changed the platform. We click on the detail of Acme page and turn on the Acme usage.
we can click on the icon of Dell ECS card and jump to the ECS management portal. Let's also take a look at the tenant portal side. As it's a new storage platform, Tenant Acme has no buckets. We can click Get Start to create a new bucket on ECS platform. And then upload a new object under this bucket. After the upload succeed, we preview the image. It's good. If you are going to install OSC from scratch with Cloudia integration or ECS integration, you can browse the installation guide on VMware website. We provide the detailed steps from scratch. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.